This video is at a special request. CQDX 309 Central Iowa, standing by. Come on in here, 309 605 pointed right at you. How's it going guys? Corey the Random Guy here with you again today. I had actually had a special request from a fellow YouTuber. He goes by the name of 671 New York. I will put a link to his channel in the description below so you guys go check him out he's got a lot of cool content on there help his channel grow as well um, and this is to more just answer a question before we begin I'd like you guys to keep liking subscribing sharing commenting hitting that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything you guys are doing phenomenal I appreciate all of the feedback just on the last video alone it was only up there for a few minutes and you guys just woo, come right all in it was awesome we also have a PO box for this channel I will put the addresses below in the description and you can also find it in the about tab of the channel. So without further ado, let's jump into this. I am using this program called OBS to show you um, 671 New York what I do to allow these Baofangs here to display the channel names that you program in. I use Chirp. Uh, Chirp is a pretty good software. I actually have never ran into any issues with it. I'm going to show you what the easiest way to do. And there's the lovely wife making her appearance. Your Southern Sweet Tea, did I do it right? Mmm, Southern Sweet Tea. She is good. She is really good at this. There is a way to get the display to show names instead of frequencies through here. Although I'm going to be bluntly honest, it is a pain in the ass. I'd rather use Chirp to do it. Makes it easy. So let's go ahead and open up Chirp. My face will go away. You guys will be able to see what's on the screen. So let's continue. All right, guys, this is what you see when you open up Chirp. Nothing. What you guys are going to have to do, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but what you're going to have to do, plug in your baffing, of course. Make sure that the computer is actually seeing the cable, all that fun stuff. You turn on your radio. What I would recommend is you actually take the antenna off of it, so this way it cannot receive anything while you are programming. So we are going to go here. This is my backup radio, so you guys will be able to see kind of what I have programmed in here. I'll go download from radio. See, this program also calls it a tri-power, even though it is not. It is still a UV5R. You guys can see right here it is TID radio, uh, TD UV5R. Again, the same exact thing as an actual Baofeng. So COM4, I do believe, is what this is set to. So we'll try it. And it gives you this. Oh, I have to switch it to COM3. So we'll go here. Oh, no, COM5. Excuse me. So if one COM doesn't work, try the other COM, and we'll try it again. Here we go. Look at that. Now it is cloning. Basically, it's taking all the information off of the radio itself. Everything that you do have programmed or did have programmed or brand new right out of the box. <clears throat> you guys see here, this is what I have. Now, if you go over here to settings, okay, this is the settings for your Baofeng. What you would want to do in the basic settings, uh, display mode A and B. That's going to be your first and second lines. You want to change it from frequency to name, or you can even do channel. I prefer name. You can just switch it over to name. Both lines, you can switch them over to name. You can have one as frequency, one as name, or one as channel, one as name. You know, just whatever you want. So when you're done doing all of that, all of your frequencies are in there. What you would do is you would go to upload to radio. And it's already, it already knows the COM port, so click OK, OK, and cloning. Simple as that. So once this gets done, I'll jump back on camera, and you guys will be able to see. OK, simple as that. Hook up your programming cable. You go through the program chirp, as you guys seen, and now it shows you the name. You can change it back to frequency mode by hitting VFO MR button. You guys see? It's name. Now it's frequency. Or you can go back there 
and go back to your pre-programmed list. So I hope that explains it. Chirp is a very good program, as I said. You guys have fun out there. You guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And if I don't know, I will definitely send you guys off into the right direction on who to ask, or I can even ask for you. Simple as that as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that it actually kind of explains stuff. Anyway, guys, we will see you later. 309 Central Iowa, signing up.